Deborah was a, a child of light and life. She went the equivalent to the Berkeley School of Music in Boston. She went to the Ramon School in Tel Aviv, where she met Shlomi, her husband. She is a singer, a child of light, and the kibbutz in which she chose to live. Israeli-American Deborah Matias and her husband died, protecting their 16-year-old son, Rotem. We were on the phone with Deborah as she was killed. We were on the phone the entire day with our son, our grandson, Rotem, as he lay first under her body and then found a place to escape under a blanket in, the, in a laundry. Chaim Katzman, a musician, DJ, and community volunteer, is being remembered as a brilliant academic by his sibling. The Association for Israeli Studies is also noting the emerging scholar who earned his PhD at the University of Washington was deeply committed to community service and engagement. He was killed while hiding in a closet with his neighbor. He absorbed all the bullets um, into his body. And when I went out, I saw him. He was a wonderful person. He was a talented person. He was a funny person. He was a he was someone who wanted to live. His name is Chaim. Chaim in Hebrew is life. That's the meaning of his name. And he gave life to this planet because he saved me. And I was able to save two kids. IDF Sergeant Roy Weiser's mother says her son always had a smile on his face. When his base was overrun by Hamas terrorists, she tells CNN Roy diverted their attention. The 21 year old, quote, died as he lived by putting others first. Because of his bravery, at least 12 other soldiers are alive today. New Jersey-born Itai Glisko, also in the IDF, was covering a friend's shift when the attack came. His aunt said he was always offering to help and wanted to serve in the army like his father. The family is devastated. Itai Glisko was just 20 years old. Danielle Ben Sr. was working at the Nova Music Festival. Born in California, she worked as a medic and had also served in the IDF. Danielle last spoke with her father Friday night. My heart. It's on the floor. She's everything for me. Without her, there is no value for life. On Wednesday, Jacob's worst fears were confirmed when he was told his 34-year-old daughter had been murdered. Erica Hill, CNN, New York.